This video tutorial looks at the cardiac cycle, specifically looking at some of the pressure changes in the heart during the cardiac cycle. We're going to begin by looking at the atrial pressure, which is represented on the graph in front of you as a orange line. Atrial pressure is always relatively low because of the thin walls of the atrium. The thin walls of the atrium mean that they can't contract much, producing much force. It's highest when they are contracting, but drops when the left atrioventricular valve closes and its walls relax. The atria then fill with blood, which leads to a gradual buildup of pressure until a slight drop when the left atrioventricular valve opens and some blood moves into the ventricle. We're now going to look at the ventricular pressure, and that's represented by the green line. Ventricular pressure is low at first, but gradually increases as the ventricles fill with blood as the atria contract. The left atrioventricular valves close and the pressure rises dramatically as the thick muscular walls of the ventricles contract. As pressure rises above that of the aorta, blood is forced into the aorta past the semilunar valves. Pressure falls as the ventricles empty and the walls relax. Finally, we're going to look at aortic pressure. That's represented by the red line on the graph in front of you. Aortic pressure rises when ventricles contract as blood is forced into the aorta. It then gradually falls, but never below around 12 kPa because of the elasticity of its walls, which creates a recoil action, which is essential if the blood is to be constantly delivered to the tissues. The recoil produces a temporary rise in pressure at the start of the relaxation phase.